Hello friends! Well, aren't you smarty pants making it all the way to Module 4, Lesson 27? Today's learning goal is I can add a pair of two-digit numbers when the ones digit have a sum greater than 10. Hmm, that sounds familiar. That sounds a lot like our learning goal from yesterday. It is actually. We're just going to be putting all those great skills that we've been learning to practice one more time. So, what we're going to be doing is adding two two-digit numbers when the ones digits equal a sum, when we add them together, more than 10. Okay, let's practice it a couple of different ways. Remember, today we're going to try really hard not to use those quick pictures. You can draw them if you need to with your tens and ones, but let's try to do it a different way. So we did this problem yesterday, 19 plus 17. Hey, we're going to do it two different ways. We're going to do this the number bond way. And we're also going to do it the arrow way. Okay, watch me solve this problem. So I know on, when I'm adding these two numbers, I'm looking for a number that's close to a 10 to make a friendly number. So I've got 19 here. That's really close to 20. Okay, so I'm going to break apart 17 so I can get 19 closer to a friendly number. I'm going to break it apart to 10 and 7. And remember with the number bond way, we're going to write, rewrite this with new number sentences. Yesterday we drew ovals around here. So we're going to do 19 plus 10. It's 10 a friendly number. And that equals 29. But don't forget about the 7. We have to add that too. So our new number, 29, plus 7 more. Hmm, 29 is close to a 10 too. We only need one more to get to 30. Let's take that one from the 7. So I'm going to break apart 7 into 1 and 6. So if I add 29 plus 1, that's 30, and 30 plus 6 more is 36. So all that work shows us that 19 plus 17 equals, and I'm not going to be lazy today, I'll write the answer up here too, 36. So that's the number bond way. We made a number bond here, we made a number bond here. But let's try the arrow way. Okay, you've done this before too. Okay, so we're going to still keep our number bond and breaking apart 17 into 10 and 7. So I'm going to start with 19. And instead of writing a number sentence, I'm going to draw an arrow. And I'm going to write plus 10 at the top. Because I'm going to add 10 to 19. And that equals 29. Okay, then I'm not going to forget about 7. I'm going to draw another arrow plus 7 more. Okay, so I can count on 7 more. Or I can take 1 away from 7 and make it 30 and add 6 more. Whatever's easiest for you. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Same answer. What do you know? Okay, so today we're going to be solving problems with two two-digit numbers. And we're going to solve it two ways. The number way and the arrow way. And see if you which one you like better. Let's try this problem, 15 plus 18. Okay, I'm gonna give you a minute to solve this the number bond way yourself, and then we can check it together. So push pause and take a moment to solve this the number bond way. I'll see you in a bit. All right, let's check your work. So I was looking at this problem and I saw, hmm, 15 and 18. 18 is closer to a friendly number 20, so I'm going to break apart 15. Did you do that, or did you break apart the 18? It doesn't really matter, as long as you get the right answer. So I'm going to break apart 15 into 2, because I need 2 more to make 18 turn into 20, right? And that leaves me with 13 here, because 2 and 13 make 15. Okay, so I'm going to make this new number sentence, 18 plus 2 equals 20. I'm not going to forget about 13. So I'm going to do 20 plus 13. Hmm, I can make another number bond here to add friendly numbers. I'm going to break apart 13 into 10 and 3. So 20 plus 10 is 30, plus 3 more is 33. Is that the answer that you got? Did you break apart 15? Or did you break apart 18? Remember, it doesn't matter as long as you get the right answer and that you show your work. 
Remember, I'm not going to be lazy. I'm going to put the answer up here too. 15 plus 18 equals 33. All right, I'm going to erase these two numbers. So let's try this the arrow way. Okay, and I'm going to give you a little hint. Okay, I'm going to still break apart 15, but let's break it apart into 10 and 5 to do the arrow way. Push pause for a moment and solve this the arrow way. All right, let's check your work. Okay, so we're going to start with 18. And did you draw an arrow? Plus that 10 more equals 28. We can't forget about that 5, right? So let's draw another arrow. Plus, ooh, that should not say 13. That should say 5. Hopefully you wrote a 5 on top of your arrow and not a 13 like me. So 28 plus 5, not 13 is, let's see, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, ah, 33. What do you know? The same answer. Which way do you like better, doing it the number bond way or the arrow way? Remember, that should say 5 right there, not 13. Luckily, you guys have an eraser. I don't, unfortunately. Let's try another one. Let's do 19 plus 19. Oh, which number should you break apart? Let's solve this problem the number bond way and the arrow way. Push pause and come back and let's check your work. All right, I'm going to break apart this 19 since it really doesn't matter which one. And did you break apart into 10 and 9? So we can have a friend make a friendly number here. 29, oh, well, that's our answer. Let's write that new number sentence. 19 plus 10 equals 29. Remember you're writing out this number sentences. It shows your teacher you're thinking. So now I have this new number 29. I'm not going to forget. I need to add this 9 here. 29 plus 9 equals hmm, 29 is close to 30. Let's break apart here so we can get one more to make 30. And then we have 8. So 29 plus 1 is 30 plus 8 more is 38. So 19 plus 19 equals 38. Let's try it the arrow way. Pause me and come back and we'll check your work. Try this problem the arrow way. All right, so you started with 19 and when you drew your arrow plus, that's right, 10 equals 29. We can't forget about this 9 here left over. Draw another arrow, plus 9. Oh, I got the right number this time. Hmm, 29 plus 9. Remember, you can count on, or you can make a friendly number. And that's 38. Same answer. Maybe you didn't do it that way. Maybe you did it this way. Let's change these numbers. Because 19, you only need one more to get to 20. So maybe you did it this way. You broke apart 19 into 1 and 18. So then your number sentence could look like this for the number bond way. 19 plus 1 equals 20. And oops, here's another mistake. This should say 20. 20 plus 18. And if I break apart 18 into 10 and 8, remember this should say 20. 20 plus 10 is 30. Plus 8 more is 38. Ah, oh, we got the right answer. Remember, it doesn't matter how you break up your numbers as long as you get the right answer. And as long as you're showing your work, provided you write the right numbers, not like me, on this one. All right, now it's your turn. One last problem for you to do. You're going to do 17 plus 15. And I want you to show me the number bond way and the arrow way on your board. And then you're going to seesaw your answer to your teacher so you can show them all the great thinking that you're doing. I am so impressed with how you can add two two-digit numbers with the, when the ones digit is a sum greater than 10. You did amazing work. Make sure you're showing your work so that your teacher can see your thinking. And make sure you don't make silly mistakes like I did and write down the wrong numbers. Good luck!